This is your 2019 Nissan Maxima. We're specifically with the SR trim, and that is dead center as far as trims go. SL on the bottom, platinum up top. Slightly redesigned front fascia, LED lights for everything. A very nice touch. Deep V-Motion grille, really, really like that as well. Got that boomerang-esque look for the headlights. And I kind of like the way the headlights are set up. Kind of like Acura's Jewel Eye, uh, just as far as the separation goes. And I really like that, I like the nice, nice long beam of turn signal lights as well. Turn signals in the side mirrors. 19 inch wheels, they're blacked out. They look absolutely gorgeous. There's a good side profile of the vehicle. What I really like are the arches and the design lines. Just over the front, it's that nice flowing line and kind of goes down and then straight over and across. Floating roof, that little black patch there. Where is it? Yeah, right there. Kind of makes it look like a floating roof. Again, nice touch. It's also on the Altima going around to the rear of the vehicle. Again, with the boomerang look as far as the taillights go. Uh, sorry, redesigned taillights to be a little more specific. This comes with a spoiler and I'm not really a big fan of it in black. I would have much rather had it be the same color as the body. Uh, interesting note, so your third brake light is there, but you can see that there's a housing for another brake light there. Uh, it's kind of an interesting quirk. A uh, little irk for me. So let's start with the perk, then we'll go to the irk. So quad tailpipe finishers, but let's take a look down inside. There's just the one. So it's more for show than anything else, but you know what? That's okay. Sometimes you gotta look good and uh, we'll get into the, how the vehicle performs in the driving portion. Moving right along, let's take a look in the trunk. A little over 400 liters, so I've got a couple of bags of cat litter because I have cats and this there is what it looks like. Fairly big, pull your seats down that way and that way. But if you pull it, nothing happens. It just unlatches it and then you gotta go and push it down from the inside. Speaking of the inside, let's go take a look at that right now. Into the rear seats we go. SR trim comes with standard two-stage rear heated seats, and it's got the USBs right there as well. Nice Alcantara inserts. They're uh, got that orange uh, finish to them. Looks very nice, very sharp. There is your armrest, cup holders, and for a little bit of more stuff and or things, depending on what it is you want. A bit of piano back there. Nah, not my favorite, but it, uh, eh, it'll do. That's what you're looking at if you were sitting behind me or whoever the driver is in the 2019 Maxima. Uh, with that, let's uh, finish off this portion of the vehicle, close the door, and we'll be right back taking a look at the inside of the 2019 Nissan Maxima. A really cool perk of the 19 Maxima is that you hold the unlock button down, point it at the car, and your front windows go down. So no need to get into a hot, stuffy car in the middle of summer. Um, yes, I know you can auto start it, but sometimes you don't need to. You just want to get that air circulating for a few seconds before you jump into the vehicle and start sweating uncontrollably, kind of like me. Anyways, uh, let's for real now jump into the inside look at the 2019 Maxima. Taking a look at the inside of the 19 Maxima, double orange stitching, common theme throughout. We'll see that in a few minutes. Great side bolsters, great thigh bolsters, and thigh extender only on the driver's side, not on the passenger side. Nice orange Alcantara highlighted inserts there. It's there. I don't like it because I don't like cloth in the steering wheel. I get it that it's a cool visual. I just, yeah, I just don't care for it. Perk and kind of a quirk is you got this nice diamond shaped, very faintly diamond shaped insert on the inside of the door panel. It's also on the inside, um, but it's again, very subtle. But if you look hard enough, you see it. Piano black, eh, not a big fan. You get cool sport pedals with the SR trim as well. Let's jump in and take a bit of a closer look. There's more of that diamond pattern there. And it flows there and wraps around onto the passenger side door. Start stop button is there. Should be there, but it's there. So let's start her up. I like the shift knob because it's just nice and sturdy and firm. It's got that nice orange stitching. I think Nissan missed a branding opportunity to kind of have nice little Nissan logo there. Standard PR, oops, where is it? There you go, PRND, and get your uh, manual shift mode there if you're so inclined. Uh, let's keep it in park. Let's take a look here. HVAC controls, nice and simple. Dials, buttons, so easy to see. You go up or down or whatever you need. Again, it's so easy. I love it, love it, love it. Uh, infotainment system, standard stuff, very nice and very simple to operate, very simple to use, ready to pull all your information out. If you don't want to use that, you want to keep your hand here, 
Uh, Nissan has this lovely little scroll wheel, and you press menu, and that takes you to your home screen. And basically, can we get them both in? I don't think so. Anyway, so basically that acts as your controller, so you can see things are happening, and my hand is clearly not on that. It is on this little scroll wheel here. You get your sport mode. Um, that just changes your dashboard display right there. The sport button on the bottom right, right there. I'm going to press sport again, and that gets rid of it. Uh, nice flat bottom steering wheel. Let's try and not show my feet because they're gross. And anyways, yeah, flat bottom wheel, easy for ingress, egress. Again, I don't like this. I think it looks cool. I think it looks absolutely wonderful and sporty. Um, I just, I don't like it because I keep my hands at the good old nine and three. Um, I think it'd be really hot and uncomfortable in the summer. Like right now it's 26 degrees. It's uh, the end of May and just, it just felt uncomfortable. So I had to move my hands up a little bit um, for um, a little more comfortable handle on the wheel uh big 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 paddle shifters and you're like oh did you see the tops let me show you friends they're huge they're massive and they actually peek out from the bottom of the steering wheel as well so that's kind of what my driving uh vision looks like steering that wheel out so you can see it comes out from the top and the bottom um downshift on the left upshift on the right uh let's take a look at the dashboard so easy to use this is your button that controls everything so you just scroll and scroll and scroll and you get speed limit sign information on the SR trim as well. Very nice. Um, again, overall, just so easy. So nice and absolutely love it. Uh, there's more of that double orange stitching and there's some there and there's some there. And again, as we wrap around as well, it's on the door panel and the armrest. And anyways, it's like CDTV. It's kind of like everywhere. Uh, a couple of cup holders, standard heated and cool seats. Cool to the left, heat to the right. A quirk is this thing is actually more of a perk. It's a really deep storage bin right there. And you got your two USBs and an auxiliary. An irk is that that little spot is meant for your phone. And sure, my hand fits in there. My iPhone 10 does not fit in there. So a little irky there. And I know you don't have much space to extend it, but going forward, maybe they might. Anyways, uh, let's take a look up, up, up and away to sunroofs. Only the top one goes up and down and slides. Come on. There we go. Uh, Irk. I can't separately control the sunshades. Let's go down a touch to give you a better look. There you go. So that's half closed. That's half closed. I can't have that one independent from that one. But if an Irk, I wish there was an extra button there that would allow me to do that. Anyways, that's going to wrap up the inside look at the 2019 Maxima SR. Let's get this thing on the road. Let's see what it's like. And uh, we'll be right back. Driving Porsche in 2019 Maxima, a bit of an irk, but the car in reverse. Yes, you get a backup camera, well, you have to by law, but there's no 360 cam like they have on the Platinum trim. Would have liked to have seen that on this trim. Not so much the SL, but uh, again, would have liked to have seen it on the SR. 3.5 V6, there is no replacement for displacement, as they say. 300 horsepower, 261 pound-feet of torque, run through the front wheels. However, I think that since the Altima is now man or not mandatory, standard all-wheel drive, I think that's going to trickle down into the Maxima at some point over the next couple of years, maybe three years, but they do have the ability to do that, so I hope that they do. Uh, being the SR trim, the suspension is much tighter, and you really feel it um, in the steering wheel itself. So, yes, there's still power steering, but it's a couple of more muscles used in your arms uh, to get your rotations in, whether you're left or whether you're going right. So I like that. There's adaptive suspension, and basically what that is, is the car slows down oh so slightly, and the brakes are applied when you're going over any kind of uneven surface. And uh, Nissan says that's just to kind of maintain the smoothness of the ride. But I really like the SR trim overall. Yes, I like some of the cosmetic changes, but what I really like is the, the driving feel behind it again again it's got that tighter more refined suspension it's got more of a sporty touch and feel to it and you notice it it's not just one of those things where you know manufacturers slap on a badge a couple of things here and there like yeah yeah this is the sport model it's great um the sr actually does have tangible differences you can you can feel them you can touch them and they're noticeable all the way throughout again it's i don't want to make it sound like it's impossible to turn the wheel you know, it's still a 2019 uh, vehicle. And it's a very modern vehicle, but just, yeah, you feel that extra bit of resistance. And to me, I, you know, I like that. And I, I love the steering wheel shape. 
I love how big and robust it is. Again, I don't care for the Alcantara inserts. Just it's weird feeling cloth on my thumbs. I would rather not. I just I'd like it to be full leather. Uh, but again, it's my uh, my two cents on that. Uh, as far as handling and cornering goes, it's it's great. Um, you don't feel like you're losing uh, your back end when you swing around and turn. So good job on Nissan for still maintaining the integrity of the Maxima um, through the sport trim and not just you know adding a bunch of stuff up front and having to compromise by losing some things on the uh, on the back end. Pardon the pun, uh, kind of sort of not really. Uh, again, comfortable seats, uh, as mentioned in the uh, interior portion of the review. It's just, it, it, I love Nissan seats. The zero gravity stuff is just remarkable. Um, and they're comfortable as well. And, you know, I can, I can see myself doing longer trips in the vehicle without any kind of issues. Um, fuel efficiency, as we pull the car to a stop, because it's that's what you do when you're safe. Fuel efficiency, we are at 11.6 on the highway, 7.9 on regular roads. And what I've managed to pull off has been 11.2 over about 300 kilometers. Most of my stuff has been in the city, so that's kind of where I get it from. Um, I think I reversed my numbers by accident. I think I said 11.6 highway. It should be 11.6 city, 7.9 highway combined, a uh, little under 10. I'm a little over 11, so close enough. Anyway, that's going to wrap the review up. Thank you so much for watching. Nissan Maxima SR trim. Very nice, very sporty kind of takes. Um, some of the mundaneness away from um, what you may expect from a full-size sedan. Well done, Nissan. Really like it. Again, the orange trim here and the orange, the orange stitch, orange stitching and uh, trim highlights really make the difference here. Quite happy with it. Any questions? Please let me know. I'll, me know. Let me know. I'll do my best to answer them. If you like what you see, feel free to subscribe and get that notification bell so you know when new reviews are up. Um, all right. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll be back sooner and later with our next review.